welcome this is Niagara and Nikki coming to you from Niagara Falls Canada and today we are going to do a flip through of the Australian magazine called Smith Journal this is the magazine for thinkers adventurers makers writers inventors speaking speaking with your hands now this is aimed at men in that all the ads are for things like um, hiking boots, men's underwear, men's socks, men's clothing, um, other sporting gear, oh there's beer, uh, you know all those kind of typically typically uh, guy things. <laughs> but I love reading it. It's got great articles in it but Mainly, it has fantastic imagery, which I like to use in my art when I'm done with the magazine. So, I mean, first off, just start with this cover. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome graphic. So, we'll just do a quick flip through, and I will tell you why I like to use it for art. Um, need I say any more? <laughs> There's, big, there's a lot of big minimalistic art in here too. It's like this ad. The paper is like European and British uh, quality magazines. It's uh, thick and it's matte. Look at this. I love that. Apple bourbon. Then another ad that has my caught my eye. Everyone has this little grid of orange, uh, an orange grid <laughs> there, and I cut that out and use it to uh, work on. Okay, so we've got, there's outdoorsy things in here too, so picture there. Some interesting things you might find on this page to use. Again on here, then there's also illustrations along with the actual photography. I love this ad. It's been in, it's been in several issues of this. Um, here we've got some uh, diagram sketching of uh, insects. Okay, so some cool astronomy, astronomy stuff and um, mathematics. And this is um, an ad that I like too. I like uh, I like rows of things like this, and I especially like it when they when they put something a little different in there. Like there's these two tankards in amongst all the uh, bottles. You know what? I just got a paper cut, and it hurts. I'm just gonna. I need to get my pop. I'm not gonna dip my finger in my pop. Don't worry. Don't worry, folks. I am just going to get a drink because my mouth is getting dry. There we go. Okay, so now we have uh, an article on a man who makes land rockets. This could prove to have some interesting imagery. And yes, it does. This is very um, dystopian looking here. I love that. Okay, big art cartoonist graphic there. <laughs> Lots of good pictures of men, and they're not men dressed up in suits like you find in North American men's magazines like GQ, etc. Cigar aficionado. <laughs> I love this. Those would be nice to uh, color and put on something food related or kitchen related. <laughs> Love this. And these also have um, some, I've found some really cool wordage in this magazine. I'm not going to go back and read the ones I've missed, but I'll try to call anything out. Oh, here we could say, doesn't want to man up. 
And thank you very much. Nothing but a good time. Trigger trash. All right, so now this is going to be, this, they have some awesome art exhibits in here too, and they're really cool ones. So these are a photographer who collects items that have been uh, shot at by the gun owners for target pra practice in the American Midwest. So that's a fire hydrant shot to pieces. Paper, computer, golf ball, I have no idea what that is, a frying pan, and these will make, these would make awesome graphics in your art. Into the fold. Okay, and here we have some, uh, some paper crease patterns, how to make a tarantula. How to make a tetrahedral truss crease pattern. And that's what he does. He makes all these things out of paper. Nice uh, illustration there of Amelia Earhart. Here be monsters. Okay, so here we are, it looks like we are taking a little look at some fantastical sea monsters from history. We got some cute drawings here. So this always has some creepy uh, um, stuff and things about bones and archaeology and just weird stuff. Okay, now, I talk about weird, huh? That is a guitar that he's holding there. Desert Sessions. <laughs> Again, it's just so <laughs> unexpected to see these people holding a guitar. Did I, did I say guitar for this picture, or did I accidentally say gun? because I wouldn't be surprised, because that's what you expect it to be. Then you realize it's a guitar. <laughs> Those are awesome pictures. Neon Dreams, that's a good quote. And there a picture of um, an old motel uh, postcard. And lots more. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting ad for some Victorian beer. Oh, and here's, here's a good quote. The intriguing thing about motels is anything could happen in them. Love, skullduggery, corruption, crime. Okay, so now we have a tattoo artist who seems to be doing some other kinds of art here. If these walls could talk. Hmm, these look like models, 3D models of cities with atomic bomb explosions planted into them. Okay, so now we have a history of the markings on the American $1 bill with its Masonic. Uh, theme. Beautiful, look at that. I'd make a great background or a page to um, collage upon. More great pictures. They often look better than the real thing. That's a good quote. Mmm, nice. Oh, excuse me, my... Oh, sorry. 
Um, so yeah, now we have the uh, section that was um, referred to on the front with the hand signs, and these are awesome. I love these. Love these hands. Now, one thing that is particularly cool about this magazine is that more often than not, there is a pull out, fold out poster that you can frame on your wall. It is, um, what do you call it? Serrated, so you won't tear it while pulling it out. And this looks like it is the 2018 Lunar Candle. From the magazines I've re uh, received so far, they don't all have a f pull out poster. Pull out poster. Um, some of them have a very thick cardstock removable print to attach to your wall. It's always something frameable. And here we've got the different hand signs. The Accidental Ambassador. And this is a good sized magazine. We're over 100 pages now. suppose he's somebody. That's a great picture. Oh, look at that. That is an awesome picture. And the article is on strange medicine. An ad advertising travel to Switzerland. That's beautiful too. Okay, now here we have tools and keys. The article is on the keyhole surgeon. Oh, about being a locksmith. That is a cool picture right there. You can use the elements in a steampunk picture. And we've got a flow chart here, which could be fun to work with. Oh, awesome. Look at that. An artist known only as Nikos reveals the inner workings of his subjects by stripping them down to guts, glands, and the occasional red and blue pill. That is awesome. I love that. I don't know how, how well you're seeing it, it yourself, but it's the guy and he's been pulled apart and we can see the insides of each half of him. That is awesome. I'd love to see some more of his work. Oh, here it is, too. So I don't know who that is, but now I'm thinking that it's um, maybe uh, Captain Hook. Or n not not the Peter Pan Captain Hook, but the, the singer. The one who wrote that song, of, that sang that song about Blue Jeans Baby or something like that. Look at this. This is awesome. Spock. And, oh, the um, Stay Puffed Man and Greg Evigan. These are awesome. Another beautiful scenery and an interesting title to use, How to Be a Hermit. Or you could just use Hermit. And here's another saying, it turns out doing nothing is hard work, and acknowledging the paradox doesn't alleviate the symptoms. <laughs> and if I am correct, they always have a little chemistry uh, a blurb thing page at the back here. It's called Random Element, and this issue they're doing phosphorus. And there we have another one of the pictures, and it tells us we are at to the end of volume 25, and that the next volume will be out on March 5th. This is a quarterly magazine, so this one came out in um, this summer. Oh! They're backwards from us. 
<laughs> so yeah, this one would have been the uh, January February issue, and in Australia that's summer. So that, <laughs> that that's weird, but it makes sense. So that means that this that means that the next issue that I get will be uh, March April. And there's the back cover, so both covers are good to use, and they're they're, they're thick and sturdy. So I hope you enjoyed looking through Smith Journal with me, and um, this is not a cheap magazine since it is an import. I can't find it anywhere in my area, even at the uh, international news seller who has a lot of good stuff there, but he has no Australian magazines. Uh, so I order it. If you can find it anywhere local, then uh, you're in luck. And I hope you agreed with me that it makes a really, really good collage resource. Uh, I will show you my next issue when it comes. So thank you for joining me. And if you made it this far, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below and to be in touch with my further adventures, just ring the bell and you'll never miss anything. Thank you for joining me and have a good evening. Bye!